Hi everyone, uh, in this video we are going to discuss about port security violation. So in our previous video we discussed about port security. So that is an interesting feature on the switch that we can configure any of the port of the switch, for example this port, to accept frames with specific MAC address. For example, we can configure this port to accept frames only from this MAC address. And in that case, if any other user having, of course, a different MAC address will try to access the switch, then switch will actually discard the frames from different MAC address. So this is what we studied there. Today, we are going to study that if, if some other user having different MAC address is, will try to access that port, then what action that port will take? So you see, we have to study that in case of violation, port security violation, what action will be taken by these ports. So this is the topic for today's video. So for that, we have different violation modes on the ports, so which we can configure that. So these ports actually defines the action to be taken by the switch in case of any violation. So violation may be, for example, we configured this to accept the frames from one specific host when having a specific uh, MAC address, but some other user having different MAC address is trying to access that one. Or that can be, for example, we, we configured this port to learn maybe only eight MAC address, but as soon as it will receive a MAC address ninth, for example, ninth MAC address, so that will also be considered as a port security violation. And in that case, also we can enable some violation modes there. And in, with respect to that violation modes, this switch port will take an action. Now we are going to discuss these violation modes which we can configure on the switch port. And to configure this violation mode, we have this command. So that is switch port, port security a violation. So of course we have to be within that particular interface where we want to configure this one. So if, if we are configuring this at fast ethernet zero slash one, then we have to go to that particular interface and then we have different modes. So violation modes, we have three different options which, which, can, which we can configure on the ports. So one is protect, one second one is restrict, and third one is shut down. So these are different violation modes. And uh, in case of any violation is going to occur on that specific port, these three actions can be taken by the ports. And we have to configure any of these uh, actions. So for example, we are going to configure one specific port of the switch with this violation mode, only this violation mode. So at that at one time we can we can configure only one uh, mode there. So in this case, if you are going to configure this command with the switch port, port security violation protect, then in case of any violation, this port will of course discard the frame once the violation has occurred and it will not do anything else just it will discard the packets and it will not count the violation so if if the violation occurred once or maybe two times or three times so these number of violations will not be counted in this specific mode and now let's suppose that we are going to configure the second option that is restrict so if you are going to configure the switch in that restrict mode of violation, then what action will be performed by this port? So the first action is that it will, of course, will discard the packet. And then it will also count the number of violations. So how many times the violation occurred on this port, that will also be counted by that specific port. And then send log and SNP messages. So S as soon as any violation occurred, it will generate a log message where it will have some information that this, this has occurred, maybe port went down in, in the shutdown state or whatever status is there. So that will, a relevant message will be generated. And there is also SNP messages, it's network management protocol. So SNP messages can also be generated or sent simple network management protocols. Anyway, so these are two, uh, these are three actions which will be performed when we enable these restrict mode of violation. 
Now the last one, which is basically the by default violation mode on, on a port, if you're not going to define any violation mode, then shutdown is the by default violation mode, which will be enabled by default. But what happens in this case, so the very important first one is that, of course, in this shutdown uh, violation mode as well, the packets which will be received after that violations, those packets or those frames or that traffic will be discarded that will be that will not be entertained and then the number of violations will be counted so exactly same as before and then send log and SNP messages so associated log messages will be sent and then important thing is that this port will be disabled and the status of that interface will be shown like error disabled state so this will be a state which, be, which will be shown when we will build, we will look at the um, interface, we'll use a show interface or show port security command there. Now with this uh, basic information, let's do the same thing in Cisco Packet Tracer. 